Good afternoon, everyone. Javon from Downey Yoga. Welcome. Hope you guys all had a great day. We're going to be in a 60-minute uh, all levels vinyasa class. No props necessary for this uh, for this class. Um, unless you have a couple of blocks or strap that you would like to use, you're more than welcome to grab that. Let's come on the mat in a nice seated position. At the top of your mat, come into Sukhasana or Siddhasana. So the difference between the two is Sukhasana, you sit with your shins crossed. So it's a little bit squared up from the knees and the hips. Siddhasana, which is actually my, um, I prefer that, is when the ankles are stacked. So you feel this, um, the knees are out wider. Place your hands on your lap, or maybe uh, you have your hands a little bit closer to your hips. Anywhere on your lap is comfortable. Roll the shoulders up and back. Elongate the spine through the crown of your head. Close your eyes. Arrive. Begin to follow your breath in and out of your nose. The first few moments is always special because it's the part when we get to Stop, gather ourselves, welcome ourselves, and breathe. That's why this time is special. So, as you're following your breath, take a moment to gather yourself here. Whatever it is that you've got hanging on your shoulders or on your chest, whatever weight you feel like you're carrying today, whatever emotions you are feeling, whatever thoughts you may have, good, bad, doesn't matter. Whatever it is, gather yourself onto your mat. And I would like to welcome you here as you are, as you feel, as you think, without any judgment. This space that you occupy, wherever it is that you might be practicing today, maybe it might be outside or inside a special place, on your mat, the space that you occupy on your mat is a non-judgmental place. It is a very welcoming place and space for you to be. As we move through today, allow the movements, transitions, the poses, the breath, allow that to be an expression of your spirituality. Let yourself be expressed in however which way you are welcoming yourself on your mat today. Join me in a few clearing breaths. Take a big breath in. Open the mouth. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. This time, I'd like you to seal your lips. Exhale out of the nose, making that H-A sound on the way out. Feel the breath gently 
rub across or up their throat and down and out of your nose. Keep on breathing in and out of your nose. Ujjayi pranayam as the throat slightly contract constricts and you have that light friction rubbing up and down the throat. And with this friction, it creates this internal heating process so that now we are warming up the body from the inside and then out. When you're ready, meet me in a tabletop position so you can sweep the legs back or shift forward, plant your palms and crawl back so that way you are in the middle of your mat in the tabletop. Wrists under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Start to shift around. So maybe shifting your shoulders forward so you're leaning them past the wrist crease line and then maybe shifting back so the hips go towards the heels side to side careful you're not dumping into the shoulders so we don't want to have the shrugging of the shoulders into the ears keep the arms strong and find this sense of your palms radiating down and they root to rise Maybe making some circles. You have that option. A lot of different options here. There's no right or wrong. We're getting into the wrists and warming them up. Okay, then pause. Rotate your right hand so the fingers are facing the right knee. And if you're like me and have some hyperextension in the elbow, bend your elbow a little bit. So put a little bit more pressure in the fingertips here. Lean back and forth. Stay with your ujjayi pranayam. Good. Now let's go ahead and flip. So the top of the hand is pressing into the earth. Fingers are facing the right knee. Again, leaning front to back, maybe side to side. A few breaths. All right. When you're ready, switch over on the left. So rotate. Palm earthward, fingers, left knee. Bending the elbow slightly. It could be, we could very easily lock the elbows out uh, when we have the wrist and the hand in this direction. And then flip, top of the hand. Earthward, fingers are facing your left knee. Good. All right, plant your palms down. Curl your toes under as you inhale. Exhale, hips go all the way up and back. Downward facing dog. So feet are hips distance apart and the heels are hiding behind the toes. Quickly glance up towards the hands. Make sure that there are shoulders distance apart. And I want you to really web the fingers out as you mound down the index finger and thumbs. Okay. Your lower arm, your ulna and radio, you want to go ahead and draw those inward as you wrap the triceps back. Drop your head and send your gaze towards the navel here. Really drop the head, release the jaw. And then we'll bend into the right knee. 
Okay, and slide your left heel down. So nice stretch on the left leg here. And switch sides. Bending the left knee, right heel stretches down. Then from here, inhale, lift both heels really, really, really high on the balls of your feet and the tiptoes. On the exhale, windshield wiper the heels over to the right. Keep the palms very rooted down and feel that nice stretch on the left side. Drop your head. Arms are still strong. Okay, we still want to work the triceps back here. Inhale, lift your heels, center. Exhale, knock the knees over to the left. And inhale, center. High on the heels. Lift, lift, lift. See if you can get on the tiptoes. Exhale, melt the heels all the way down. Good, inhale, shift forward into a plank pose. Okay, yay. Joyasana is what one of my teachers says. It's her saying, it's really cute. Joyasana. So joyful, right? Okay, so protraction in the shoulders. You want to keep the same movements in the arms. So inner wrists are drawing together. Wrap the triceps back and then fill out the space in between the shoulder blades, okay? Not having the hips up high, we're not drooping down. Okay, very neutral, like you're making a board, okay? Plank. Drive those thigh bones into the hamstrings and spin the inner thighs up as you take the tailbone towards the heels. Okay, see if you can press the crown of your head towards the wall in front of you. Find a little bit more length here. Good. On the inhale, I want you to shift forward. So lean the shoulders past the wrist crease line. On the exhale, you're going to lower your knees down. Okay, keep the core. Bend your elbows back. You want the inner elbows to scrape the side body, dipping the chest and chin down. Okay, so I'm kind of hovering here, and I'm squeezing the elbows in, so turn on the, turn on the lats. Untuck the toes. Okay, inhale, start to guide your heart forward. Rest the belly down, extend the legs back, and prop the head and chest up, baby cobra. Shoulders roll back and down, breathe. Press the tops of the feet down, so much so that you actually feel the pinky toes press down and you're light on the palms. Good. I want you to keep the head and chest lifted. Slide your hands out. So right palm out, left palm out, just straight out from there. Cup your hands, okay, like you're making a little tent, and point your elbows up. Okay. On the inhale, next inhale, lift your chest just a little bit higher. So you're going to press the fingertips into the earth just a tad bit. On the exhale, dip your right shoulder down. So you're going to dip the right shoulder down and possibly rest your right ear down. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, dip the left shoulder down and maybe the ear rest down. Good. Two more on each side. Inhaling. Exhaling, right side. Inhaling. Okay, exhale, left side. And only breath cues here. So one more right, one more left. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Last side, exhaling. Inhale, let's come up. Okay, elbows out wide, chest nice and broad. 
Exhale, slowly melt your heart down onto the earth. Let's bring our palms in front of us, overlap them, rest the forehead down. Bend your knees and windshield wiper the legs side to side, just to release the lower back here. Extend the legs back, plant your palms by the short ribs, hug them in, inhale, curl your toes under, lift the kneecaps, exhale, press into your plank. Good. Take an inhale. Once we begin, stabilize. Nice, strong body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, we're going to take a few rounds of our vinyasa. Inhale, shift forward plank. Exhale, lower slow chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, up dog or your cobra. Okay, wrap the triceps back. Pull the heart through the gateway of the arms. Exhale, pull it back, downward facing dog. Okay, use your core. You want to lead with the core. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower slow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And next one, just go right into it on your own. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. All right, take a big breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Bring the feet together. Inhale, reach the right leg nice and high. Fan the hip open and press the heel up your up the ceiling, okay? So we don't want to bend the knee. We want to keep the leg nice and straight. Good. Nice job. Now, let's start to spin the inseam of the right inner thigh up to the sky so we can square the hips off. Upper inner thighs will come to touch here. Good. Exhale, knee to the right upper arm. Okay, keep it nice and high. Good. Inhale, let's kick it all the way up and back. Exhale, knee to the left upper arm. Okay, good. Hips high. Inhale, take it up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. And land the foot closest to your right thumb. Drop your back knee down. And prop up onto your fingers here, okay? Ah, okay. Release the shoulders down and keep the heart forward. On the exhale, extend your front leg nice and straight and walk your hands back. So half splits, Ardha Hanuman. Hug your left hip in towards the midline and then hug the right femur bone back into the hip socket here and lengthen through the left inner, excuse me, the right inner heel. Okay, toes are pointing up, so you have dorsiflexion in the front foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Reaching your arms forward towards the front of the mat if, if uh, that is accessible to you or keep the hands underneath the shoulder heads. Good, one more breath here, inhale. Exhale, bend into your front knee. Lift your back leg up, good. And rise up into your crescent pose. Okay, let's go ahead and place a, some more slack in the back leg here. Get the right hip back and in and spin the inseam of your left inner thigh back. Draw the navel in here. So we want the push, the sense of pushing the pelvic floor and then the Uddiyana Bandha, lifting the belly up and in. And then your chin back, Jalandhara Bandha. Good. On the exhale, we're going to drop the left hand down on the inside. Okay, and see how my right arm kind of came forward here? We're going to swing the right arm back, down, and up. Okay, so left hand on the inside of the right foot, 
right arm up, hug your right hip in, and crawl your left rib cage towards your right inner thigh. You can look down, you can look up, whatever is most comfortable for you. Good, well done. Now from here, I want you to point your pinky finger towards the front of your mat and reach the arm over your head. Good, keep the right hip back and in. Find that stretch in the QL. Bend into your front knee a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Good, and keep on rolling the heart open. Good, on the exhale, swing your right arm down, frame your front foot. Plant your palms, step back into your plank. Inhale, shift forward, exhale, lower slow. Inhale for your up dog. Exhale, down dog. Okay, so breathing in, breathing out. All right, inhale, uh, let's bring the feet together. Inhale and then left leg high and fan the hip open, okay? So just stacking the left hip over the right, but keep the leg straight. And remember, lead with the heel. You wanna feel those hamstrings. Open up the hip. Arms are strong, keep the strength. Now start to spin the inseam of your left inner thigh up to the sky to square the hips off. Exhale, knee to the left upper arm. Okay, remember, hips high. Inhale, take it up and back. Exhale, knee across to the opposite arm. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, knee to nose, really round. And land the foot closest to your left thumb. Drop your back and knee. Pause as you prop up onto your fingertips and bring the chest forward. <sighs> On the exhale, half splits, extending the front leg. You could even slide the heel forward. Okay, and hug your right hip in. As you bring, again, bring the femur bone, the left femur bone into the hip socket so you have that hinge hip. Okay, that's hip flexion there. Can you press your left inner heel forward? All right, as you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Maybe walk the hands forward here to find a little bit more length. Good, and then inhale, let's lunge forward, curl your back toes under, and lift up into your crescent pose. A little bit of slack in the back leg so we can get the pelvic bone upright. Okay, we'll have lots of chances to get a wider stance in our lunges. Good, now on the exhale, you're gonna lean forward and I want you to place the right hand on the inside of the left foot. Notice where your left arm goes. Mine goes forward, okay? And then I'm gonna sweep it up, okay? I'm sorry, excuse me, I sweep it down, back, and up. There you go, circle it down. Circle it down so you can get that rotation. <clears throat> okay, and wrap the tricep back, hug your left hip in and crawl. Crawl your heart open. Okay, sweep your top arm over your head. So I want the thumb up, pinky down. Keep on drawing the left hip back and in so you find that nice stretch. Good, on the exhale, drop your left hand down to frame the front foot and step back into your plank. Okay, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower slow. Okay, inhale, up dog cobra. Your choice here, just make sure those inner thighs are spiraling up. Exhale, pull it back, downward facing dog. 
Breathing in, breathing out, feet together. Inhale, bend your knees, but I want you to bend them deeply so your heels and hips are drawing together, okay? Keep your arms like plank arms, okay? Good. On the exhale, step forward. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. And we rise, reaching up. Palms will meet at the very top. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold over, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your palms. Let's go through our vinyasa. You know what to do. I want you to meet me in a downward facing dog from here. Feet together, inhale, right leg high. Good, fan the hip open. Nice, good. Now, spin your inner thigh up to the sky. Exhale, knee to the opposite arm, okay? Good, now drop your back heel and kick your right leg over to the left. So falling triangle here. You're gonna pause, okay? And guess what, we're not gonna go into falling triangle. We're actually gonna allow our hips to drop all the way down, okay? So you're like, oh my gosh, we're gonna do falling triangle. I'm exhausted already, okay? So a nice little twist here, okay? So you wanna keep your right foot out from the hip and the left leg all the way down. You can stay here on your hands or maybe you come down onto the forearms. It's up to you, okay? But we're here for about three breaths or so. All right, so if you're on the forearms, come up onto your hands, okay? And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to take your left hip and bring it towards the front of your mat. So you're gonna come onto the ball of your back foot. So you're gonna have to use your core to lift your hips, okay? Good, now from here, you're going to bring your right knee in towards the chest, shift forward and land the foot through. Good, well done. Drop your back heel, 45 degree angle. Lead with the left arm and meet me in your warrior two. Good. Now, heel arch alignment. Feel the outer edge of your back foot. Aim your front knee towards the right pinky toe. Feel this sense of the right outer thigh wrapping and spiraling down and then tucking under so that way your hamstrings stay on. Okay, tailbone down and spin the inseam of your left inner thigh back behind you. I want you to reach the arms up a little bit higher and then exhale, let them settle. <sighs> Good. On the exhale, right arm's gonna come down onto the forearm as you sweep your top arm over your head. Okay, so stay here, okay, or reach your right arm forward, okay, as well. Keep crawling your right rib cage towards the left wall and breathe, okay. You're holding a beach ball above your head. Keep bending into your front knee. Good, nice and strong here. Good, on the exhale, right arm comes down on the inside of the right foot. Good, and keep reaching. I want you to tuck your right hip under and roll that heart open. Tailbone is aiming towards your back heel. Good. All right, strong legs, strong core. You're going to meet me in warrior two, okay? So when you come up, you're gonna lift your front hip off the thigh, extend your front leg nice and straight to give ourselves a break. Take your arms behind the back, interlace the fingers, and 
aim your right toes towards the left side of your mat. Okay, turn around. Good. All right, so feet are parallel to one another. Oops. Feet are parallel to one another. Anchor the knuckles down, wrap the triceps back, take an inhale. Exhale, dip your chest down as the arms come up. Pasarita Parotadasana C. Shoulders away from the ear so you find length in the neck. Seal the outer edges of the feet so you're not buckling into the arches and spin those inner thighs back, spreading the sit bones apart. Hmm. Good. Then release your arms and place your hands on your hips. Okay, with your core, inhale, come up with a flat back. Well done. Now, what you're gonna do from here is you're going to face your right toes towards the top of your mat and the left toes, okay, towards the top left corner of your mat. 45 degree angle, bend into your front knee, warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Go ahead and step it back into your plank. Good, plank pose. Take an inhale, shift forward. Exhale, I want you to lower slow. Inhale, up dog cobra. Exhale, pull it back. All right, feet together. Inhale, left leg high, fan the hip open. Okay, on the exhale, I want you to lift the inner thigh up and then knee to the opposite elbow, rest the foot down, drop the back heel, and hips go down. Good. So your legs are in a letter shape of an L or close to it. Okay. Lengthen the spine. Remember, chest forward and come down onto the forearms if that feels good for you. Okay, just breathe here. All right, hands come under the shoulders. You're gonna prop up onto the ball of the back foot. Okay, left knee into the chest, round the back a lot. A lot of flexion in the back here. Lunge the foot through, drop your back heel. Meet me in your warrior two. Okay. So nice and strong. Lifting the arms up just a tad bit higher. When you exhale, you'll settle. Hey, your right thigh bone is going into the hamstrings. Kneecap is lifting, the inner thigh is spiraling back. A lot of work here in the body. Okay, let's place the left, excuse me, the left forearm on top of the thigh and reach your top arm over your head, okay? Okay, now you can stay here or reach your left arm forward. And smile. Good. All right, let's place the left hand on the inside of the left leg, keep on reaching, roll your heart open, really get deeper into the pose if that feels good for you. See how long you can feel that nice line from the tip of your right fingers to the heel of the back foot. Okay, now again, we want to lift your front hip off the thigh. So use your core and use the movement of your pelvic bone to do that. So as you inhale, let's come up, warrior two. Take an inhale. Good, exhale, extend your front leg and reach your arms back behind you, okay? Toe, left toes go 
towards the right. Okay, make your adjustments here. Feet are parallel. Good, anchor your knuckles down, lift your chest, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, dip down all the way. <sighs> nice load off. If you happen to have done the side angle pose with both arms extended, this is a nice release. Now release your hands on your hips with a flat back. Let's come up. Okay, point your left toes forward, right toes at a 45, warrior two. Take that inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Let's step it back into your plank. Shifting forward, lower, slow. Okay, knee in downward, facing dog. Good. Then inhale, shift forward. Okay. Spread your feet about hips distance. Knock your knee, knock your heels over to the right and reach your left arm up. Okay. So feet are staggered, not stacked. Lift your hips up here. Good. Now I want you to take your left foot, which is in front of the right foot, and I want you to place it back behind you. Come onto the ball of the foot like a kickstand. Okay, lift your hips, lift your chest, and reach your left arm over towards the front of your room. Okay, careful not to dump in to the right shoulder. Kama Krasana, wild thing. All right, now think of the belly button and sternum coming together. As you exhale, bring it back into a side plank. This time I want you to stack the left foot over the right. Keep your left arm over your head. Good. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Okay, on the exhale, use your core plank. Good. Well done. Pausing here, stagger your feet. Knock your heels over towards the left. Reach the arm, right arm up. Okay. So again, we have the left foot in front of the right. All right, switch your left foot. I'm sorry, this is your right foot. <laughs> right foot back behind you like a kickstand. Inhale, reach up. Okay, that nice back bend in, tailbone going towards the back wall as the heart goes up and forward. Okay, belly button and sternum come together. Meet me in a plank pose, oh, not a plank, side plank, Vashistasana. Okay, keep your right arm over your head as the feet stay stacked. Okay, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, find your plank. Okay, your choice, vinyasa or straight to down dog. Okay. Okay, take a big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, slightly bend your knees, look forward in between the hands. On the exhale, step or lightly hop to the top of the mat, okay? So you can take one big step or you spring forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, drop your head. Place your arms up along the side of the rib cage. Make sure those feet are together. Inhale, bend the knees, sink the hips, reach the arms up. Good. Exhale, press the standing hands to the heart. Inhale for chair pose. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Maybe take one mini step back. You can come into Bakasana or just go through your vinyasa. You could even go straight to downward facing dog here. Okay, rounding the back, drawing the elbows and the knees together, gazes forward, keep those elbows bent as you use all the power in your legs to shoot it back into your chaturanga. Okay, then finish off. 
<clears throat> okay, good. Now, keep the feet hip distance apart. Okay, we're not going to kick the leg up. On the exhale, just straight away lunge the right foot forward. Okay, good. Drop your back heel, then come up into your warrior one. Good. Exhale, plant your palms. We're only going to go one breath. Okay, lower slow. Okay, so just moving, moving and grooving and flowing. Okay, good. Left foot forward, drop your back heel. Let's come up. Good. And exhale, plant your palms. Go ahead and step back and lower slow. Good. One more time. Right leg. Drop back heel. Inhale, warrior one. Plant your palms. Step back. Okay, be mindful here. It's not a race. Right away, the left leg comes forward. One breath. Good. All the way. Finish off. Okay, one more round. Right leg forward. Good, this time we're gonna pause here, we're gonna settle. Take your arms behind the back, interlace the fingers, anchor the knuckles down the inner left thigh as you bend into your front knee. Good, exhale, humble warrior. See if you can get your right shoulder on the inside of the right knee, but you wanna square the shoulders off earthward. Okay, so hug the right hip in. Get as low as you can. Drop your head, look towards the back foot. Arms go up a little bit higher. Breathe. Try to keep the adduction in the front thigh. Okay, so squeezing the thigh into the shoulder and the shoulder into the, into the thigh, to the, or the inner knee. Inner knee. <clears throat> Good. Let's go ahead and release the arms. Keep the chest low. Come on to the hands here. Walk your right foot out about a step or two. Good. Now, you can keep your back knee lifted or keep it or, or drop it down. Your choice. Either way, let's see if we can get our forearms down. Good. Okay. Bring your hands at prayer. Okay, spin the inseam of your left inner thigh up to the sky and keep on drawing. Again, keep drawing <clears throat> the right inner thigh towards the left, excuse me, towards the right shoulder. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Now, from here, okay, yogis, um, we actually did this in a power flow um, sequence on Tuesday. It was pretty fun. But you're going to round the back here, and without, if you're on the forearms, without um, moving the forearms up or any, or any shape or form, you're going to take the right foot back into a forearm plank with prairie hands. Okay? Now, knock your heels over to the right and lift your left elbow up Make a diamond shape with your hands, okay? So your index finger and your thumb are meeting. <clears throat> so sorry, guys. I have a little, <clears throat> a little frog in my throat. Okay, so lift your hips and send the top hip forward. So we're using those obliques. So really, you're only balancing on your right elbow. Okay, if you need to put the hand down, the outside of your right hand down, or the, yeah, the pinky side down, you can go ahead and do that. But see if you can balance on the elbow. Good. Now when you're ready, come back down. Try to be as smooth as you can. Good. Hands where the elbows are at. Plank. Inhale, shift forward. Again, your choice. Chaturanga or skip it. All right. Left leg forward. Back heel down. Warrior one, inhale. 
Take the arms behind the back, anchor. This time, um, one finger down, so we can kind of switch uh, the grip around, okay? Take one inhale, exhale, dip it down. Humble warrior. It's always nice to just hang out in this pose, breathe, stretch. Remember that we are expressing ourselves, expressing our spirituality. Okay. All right, keep that chest low. Okay, hands or forearms down. As you walk your left foot out, come onto the ball of the back foot, lizard pose. Oh, and have your hands at prayer. If you're on the forearms, have your hands on pray at prayer. Okay, now from here, lift your hips, really round the back, send the left leg back, okay, and our side plank. Okay. Want to have the thumb and index finger meeting, see if you can balance only on the elbow. If you have the forearm down, don't worry about it. Let's see if you can make that diamond shape, the elbows and the fingers. Lift your top hip up and forward, breathe. Okay, when you're ready, let's come down slow with control. Okay, plank pose, make your way. And vinyasa. And then we'll make our way into a child's pose. All right, so I cheated. I didn't actually go all the way up into our downward facing dog. So reach your arms forward, rest your forehead down. Or my favorite is just to overlap the hands and place my forehead on the hands. Okay, now from here, um, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and come into a supported headstand. Now, if you have a wall at home that you would like to uh, move your mat up against, if you have like a clear space, you're more than welcome to. But we're actually going to take, um, take it up, and then I'll, I'll actually tell you step-by-step step how to um, do this at home. So even here, forearms down. Okay, so you can um, grab a hold of the opposite elbows. We want to make sure that the elbows are under the shoulders. Place your palms together, like we did the prayer hands, and interlace the fingers. Bring the bottom pinky forward in front of the palm. That's the bottom pinky. The reason why we do that is so that way the bottom pinky isn't getting squished. Okay, now when you place the top of your head down, it is only... A contact point it's not a weight bearing point that means that a lot of the weight bearing point uh, uh, points are going to be in the forearms the inner wrist okay so three fingers from the hairline basically right where my bun is but it's not back further back than that and the reason why is because you want to have that line here with a cervical spine all right, so from this pose, you can bring your knees under the hips. Okay, 
Curl your toes under. Once you get your head in, okay, you want to cradle the head uh, with, the, with the palms here. So you're holding the occipital plate, or at least the top part of the occipital plate. Your toes will be curled, and then you're going to lift your hips, coming into a, what we call it, like a dolphin pose. Okay. Good. So elbows are drawing in, shoulders away from the ears, and you're going to walk your feet as close as you can and bring the feet together. Okay, so one option here is just to have one leg up and come up onto the toes, the left toes. Okay, good. Now you can stay here and switch as you like. Okay, do both legs. Okay, another option is you have your right leg up and bring the left knee into the chest. Okay, good. So you want to just try to bring and then tailbone towards the heel so you'll get the pelvic bone upright. Okay, and when you do that, make sure you do the other side. So you practice both sides. Good. You can always take child's pose. Okay, if you know this pose already, see if you can pike up. Okay, both legs go up at the same time. Okay, there's different variations here. You could do Baddha Konasana legs with the soles of the feet come together. You can do a straddle. Okay. You can do Garudasana legs, so crossing the legs. So different variations here. You could even keep the legs into the chest. And then when you're done, you can always come into a child's pose and just rest for a moment. Have fun playing around. You can rest and maybe come back into it for a few more breaths. And my second round was a little wobbly, but that's what makes you stronger. I'm trying to hold it in place. Okay, so weights in the forearms. Draw the navel in. Okay, so you want the pelvic bone forward, thigh bones back. All right, so when you're up, See if you can slowly come down as you bring the knees into the chest. Slowly descend. Good. If you want to stay in your child's pose, great. You can also slowly come into a Varasana, rolling the head up. Don't bring the head up right away. You just want to roll up. And from here, let's extend the legs forward. And we'll do a straddle. So legs out wide. Walk your hands forward, maybe onto the forearms, or maybe upright, whatever's enough for you. I'm gonna spin the inner thighs up to the sky, dorsiflexion in the feet. Okay, make sure you're not shrugging the shoulders into the ears. Good, inhale, let's go ahead and come back up. Bring your hands to the knees. Let's go ahead and bend them. And we will tuck the right heel to the outer left hip 
and bring the left leg on top and have the left heel to the outer right hip. You can shift forward. So we just did the straddle, now we're bringing it together in Gomukhasana legs. So see if, your sh see if your knees can be aligned. You can also sit on a blanket or a block here. Now the wider you take the feet, the more intense the pose comes. So just try to bring the heels as close as you can. And as you get deeper into the pose, you can move the feet out. Good. So from here, take, the in take an inhale, lift your chest, and then there's an option to exhale and forward fold. Surrounding the back, see if you can maybe use the hands to pre maybe press down the hands so that way the sit bones stay down. Good. Inhale. Let's lift ourselves up. And what we're going to do is we're going to place the hands behind the hips. Lift your knees up. I want you to extend the legs and meet me in Navasana. So the legs, arms will come forward. You can also have the knees bent too. Good, we're gonna switch over. Okay, so the right leg will be on top of the left. Or if you did the opposite, just do the opposite leg. All right, and exhale, lean forward. Good. Inhale, come up. Unravel the legs. Navasana with a smile on your face. Good. And then lower slow. Okay, you're going to lower halfway. You're going to look at those big toes. Hold it. And then all the way down, release. I'm going to shimmy myself in the middle of the mat. Bring my knees into the chest. Good. Happy baby. Rocking gently side to side. You want to get into the inner thighs. You can reach the right leg out. And bring the sole, of, or not the sole, but the heel of the left foot towards the pelvic bone. You can switch that up. Good. Move both legs back into happy baby. And knees into the chest. All right, feet down. You're going to shimmy your, your hips over to the right. Okay, right leg crosses over the left so the upper inner thighs meet. Knock your knees over to the left. Okay, you lift and stack the hips a little bit. Maybe the top of the right foot goes underneath the left calf. If you have a blanket or a block that you want to put underneath your right knee, you're more than welcome to do so. And make a cactus shape with the arms. Go. <sighs> Both shoulders are resting into the earth. Slowly unravel, hips all the way to the left, left leg over the right, knock the knees down, okay, maybe crossing one more time. With the top of the left foot behind the right calf, 
slowly begin to release, unravel, okay, center the pelvic bone and spine, slowly bring the knees into the chest, wrap your forearms around the shins, you can even cross the ankles, take a nice inhale and squeeze, hold it, give it all you got and just hold, hold, hold. out into your mat, allowing your feet, knees, and hands to flop open, the arms to go down by your sides, palms facing open, shimmy the shoulders down, you can even rock the head side to side just to release any other tension here. Together we'll take one big breath in. Big breath out. Lick your lips and swallow. Let your tongue rest on the bottom of the mouth as your forehead softens, eyelids soften, all the muscles that surround your eyes, they all soften the jaw, and the teeth, the lips, soft. This is it. Shavasana. Let your body rest. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, 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 Hari, Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari, Hari. Thank you all so much for joining me for class. You can stay here as long as you want, maybe another five minutes or so. Take your time as always. Enjoy this time on your mat. 
in the space that you've just welcomed yourself. Again, thank you. Thank you so much for your support, for staying connected. You can also send a donation through Venmo. Any amount you can, uh, you can give is absolutely greatly appreciated. You can find us on Downy Yoga dash or Downy dash Yoga on Venmo. If you guys have any comments, uh, you can send a comment in the in the um, the YouTube video, or you can send us an email or Instagram message. Smash that like button if you like the class, and also give requests of anything that you want to learn. Namaste.